Labour Party's great victory shows that the country is ready for a new policy to face new world conditions. That it believes that Labour has the right policy and also has the men to carry it out. I've had a lot of interesting conversations with you about taxation and about how much we like the post-war government of 1945. Um, and But it took a war to get that government. That's yeah. a scary thing. Sorry. No, no, you're right. Like, it took a massive But it's the same war. in 1917. Like, yeah. what, you know, what made Stanley Baldwin give up 20% of his money was seeing loads and loads of people die. And only then was he, were people a bit like, OK, well, I suppose we should sort things out a bit, you know? Like, what would it take to convince these people who are so bullish that actually when people are desperate, they do desperate things? Yeah. Not because they're criminal, but because they're desperate. Well, I think um, the sad story, the fact is it's going to take something really, really, really bad before it's going to get better. Mm. And we probably will live through that. But I'm quite excited about seeing how history unfolds. Like I'm not. I'm freaked out. I feel like I'm dreaming the whole time. Even the hat gate was too much for me. I feel like what the fuck is happening? Reality is being torn apart. <laughs> but, I, but that's exciting. It's about as reimagining. Well. We're, we're just talking more about services as well. Like for me, just going through society and going, why do I think the water should be private? Why do I think there should be a profit attached to this, that, the other? Why do I not think that about other things? Yeah. Am I allowed to completely reimagine? You yeah. know. Well, that's why I wanted this. Why I wanted to make this installation because it just seems so important to tell this history now because it's so relevant now. Because the Conservative that. government are trying to privatise the post. Yeah, yeah. It will probably go through within the next year, and it's being slipped under the net. Not like Thatcher did, like in the eighties, where she was like, "Going to capitalism. Time to get your shares. Time to get your shares. How exciting!" Like, they know that it's fucked up, and they know that privileged people are benefit, betting, benefiting from it rather than, like, the majority. And so now they're just trying to slip it under the net, just so the money just gets channelled off to them. Popular capitalism is nothing less than a crusade to enfranchise the many in the economic life of the nation. We conservatives are returning power to the people. That is the way to one nation, one people. But it does feel like, yeah, like they're even worse. They're like drunk Thatcherite children who do not give a damn at all. And they do want for their friends and the people that lobby them to get what they want. And that's all. I'm appalled by that. And I'm so angry that I am now an adult and I can't change that, you know? I'm a proper adult, I'm nearly 30 years old. What do you I mean? My well, I can't stop that. I didn't stop it. Oh. I tried, I did everything I could. But you can still stop it. What has age got to do with it? I suppose, but I feel like... I suppose, that, yeah, you can still campaign again and again and again. And like, It's not like I'm going to change the way I feel about it, but what scares me is that, you know, it's taken me a couple of years recently of really thinking about it to even work out that the consensus has shifted so far to the right. Well, I, 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 honestly, thank you so yeah, much for coming. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. It's really lovely to come a on. wonderful, really wonderful nice. evening. Just very quickly, how on earth do you sleep at night? Um, like, yeah. I think about council housing and how yeah. far that's been demonised yeah, yeah. and how the idea of a, like, oh, a council house, but the point of a council house was it was social housing that didn't rip people off, yeah. that was accountable, that everyone could live together, that evened people out, you know? Yeah. And the idea that now people look at it like, well, I'm, I'm not the underclass, I don't need social housing, you know, it's like, right, so you want to just pay more to a private landlord, do you, who yeah. is less accountable, who you can't sort stuff out with, who will rip you off over and over again. Like it would You'd take, rather do that, because yeah. that will show you're not, you're not common, right, you know? But it would take a revolution to ever go back to, like, the possibility of social housing for everyone, wouldn't it? Like, it's such a massive leap to try to get back to it. Now it's been incrementally, like, But I almost feel apart. like we've got the opportunity, and everyone has the opportunity, to be audacious starting with the things you say, you know? Yeah. Definitely. You've got to say it. Yeah. Anyway, I have to write some it. stuff down. I think we should stop. <laughs>